pleasure to meet y'all at last. Welcome back to the Hot Wheels Hilarity series. More likely, this is not a regular Hot Wheels Hilarity episode, but of a new spin-off series of Hot Wheels Hilarity called Colossal Clashes. This involves extremely long competition videos with so much more cars to use on layouts that I have previously used or ones that I made myself. So without further ado, let's get started. We're going to start off with Sinistra. I will be giving each car at least two chances. Oh wow, look at this. Sinestra somehow ends up backwards, but yet makes it all the way. If it's on the blue track, or if it's on the very end, which is the white piece there, then it counts as a win. So Sinestra is the first one to make it. And if you haven't already noticed, I have to reset all four of the kicker loops I'm using. Along with the turn kicker, which I'm using for this layout as well. Up next we have ourselves the 95 Chevrolet Camaro convertible. got two in a row here as the Chevrolet Camaro convertible joins alongside Sinistra as the second winner of this competition. Our third racer here is Radical Racer. He did not make it. Up next we have ourselves the BMW M3. Our next car here is the Ford Escort Rally. Next up we have ourselves Circle Tracker. Next up is another blue car, the 40 Ford Coupe. Next up is a custom piece of work that I did. This is Octanium. Up next we have the Jeep CJ two-way. Next up we have the 1996 Chevrolet 1500. Here we have an older model, now rendered into the new age, Silhouette. Next up is Chrysler Thunderbolt.
The next car we have is Power Sander. Up next is Quarter Mile Coupe. This is a pretty nice model and I really like it. Let's see how well this one does. Up next we have ourselves Quicksand. Next model we have ourselves, this is Kumbi. Next up is the Dragon Blaster, and he's ready to fly, so let's go. I really like this next model. This is King Kuda from the Checkmate series. Here's another model I really like. This is Rip Rod with glow in the dark wheels. Here we have ourselves Express Lane. Next car is Jetster. Here's another model I like to collect. This is HW Rapid Responder. This next model looks closely related to the Chrysler Thunderbolt. This is the Mitsubishi Double Shot. The Mitsubishi Double Shots ensures that there's a third winner in the very end of the track. So now, Sinestra and the 95 Camaro Convertible are not alone. Up next is the car that doubles as a money clip. Fast cash. This car is a former Accelerators model, Anthracite. Up next we have a 50th anniversary racing team car, Dune Daddy. Next up is another model I like, Chill Mill. Here we have ourselves the custom 67 Volkswagen Beetle.
This one's a big one right here, and this is power panels. Next up is another model I like to collect. This is Shark Cruiser. Next up is Rigger Motor. I really like this one too. Next up is Track Ripper. Up next we have ourselves Isle Driver, part of the HW Ride-On series. Next car we have here is the Porsche Panamera. Here we have the Lamborghini Huracan LP610-4. Up next is another realistic model, the custom 01 Acura Integra GSR. Up next we have ourselves the 52 Chevy. Next up is Boulevard Bruiser. Here's another model that I really love, Switchback, and it has surfboards on the back of it. Next up we have the Aston Martin DBS. Here we have the Corvette C7. Here's another realistic model. This is the 1987 Buick Grand National. I like this model here, even though it's much older than all the others. This is Phaeton. Here comes, you're so fast. Next up we have this model that I also like a lot, Side Draft. K 
can bull whip here make it throughout this entire layout unlike many of the others. Now Bull Whip makes it to the very end, and so Bull Whip gets to join this little crowd here at the end. Out of all the cars, we're having quite a little crowd right here. Up next we have ourselves Horseplay. Horseplay ends up making the crowd at the very end of the track a little bit larger. But let's just hope that we can have more cars by the time we get to the very end. This model I kind of like. This is Time a Taxi. Here we have Air Eruption, which is one of those models to which you can spread its wings out. As you can see that I'm actually struggling to try to get him to open up. And there we go. The wings are open. It's ready to fly down the track. Here we have ourselves the Hot Wheels High School Bus. This is pretty nice looking in gold. Here we have ourselves another favorite model of mine, Scorpedo. Scorpedo ends up making it to the end. And I also forgot to pan the camera to Eruption when Eruption got to the very end of the track. But as you can see here, we still have eight cars remaining. Here's a pretty nice realistic model. This is the Honda Odyssey. I really like this model too, and this is Whip Creamer 2. Features an opening canopy and a spinning turbine. Next up we have ourselves the Dixie Challenger. Next up is Nitro Tailgater. I really like this model, not just for its looks, but its color scheme. Up next we have Mountain Mauler. The next model we have here is a racing drone, RD-04. RD-04 ends up making it, and there's now only a small crowd of 9 cars out of 59, but we still have 2 more to go. Here we have ourselves the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento.
And finally, we have ourselves the 1987 Dodge D100. Here we have a small crowd of winners, only 9 of them managed to make it. All the rest here are sitting on this couch cushion signifying that they are trying to relax as they've lost. But anyways, this was a pretty fun time right here despite how strenuous and long of a project this was for me. But if you hang tight, I will make some more of any of these.